This computer stand is the best accessory for standing desks. I'm going to tell you why it's such a game changer and how to build one yourself. To understand why I built this, we first need to take a look at the problems. The main selling point of a standing desk is that you can raise it or lower it for better ergonomics. But its greatest strength is also its greatest weakness. Everything must be attached, otherwise you'll be tugging on cables. Once you put on a computer, monitors, speakers, and other accessories, things start feeling a little cramped. The easy solution is to get a larger desk, one that is deeper and wider, but that's expensive, and not everyone has the space. Therefore, a computer stand would help remove the clutter and solve the problem. But that's not actually why I built this thing. You see, I wanted an all-in-one desk for building computers. If you've ever tried only using a ceiling light, you know the struggle. Desk lamps get in the way, and the only thing that resembled what I wanted was a workbench. Unfortunately, those don't rise and are too narrow for a desktop setup. So like the great YouTube Mark Rober says, if you have an idea about a thing and that thing doesn't exist, you can just will it into existence. Like any project, we start off with the requirements. Luckily, there's only two. Build something that can hold up 30 pounds of computer while also taking up minimal surface area. So I looked online for some inspiration and these overhead camera rigs fit the bill. But the poles get in the way and they take up too much footprint on the desk. So a C-stand design makes for the ideal candidate. The next part is to size out the materials. Metal is strong and expensive, while wood is weak and cheap. To reduce the cost, I selected metal for structural areas like arms and legs. And for the corners, I used bookshelf ends on the bottom. And for the top, I used these corner braces. For everything else, I use wood, because it's 12 feet for five bucks. After a bunch of drill work, the stand is complete. If you're wondering what these blue things are, they're head protectors. Because it turns out, aluminum angles are pretty sharp. I just 3D printed these balls with a slot in the back, and they just fit right in. The hardest part of this build is figuring out how to mount the computer. Originally, I wanted to create some kind of support to put the case onto the stand, but that became very bulky very quickly. What's more, a case would make components hard to access, so I decided for an open-air design, with a hook in the back. This idea is really neat. You have this middle beam with two arms on either side. The arms help guide the whole thing onto the stand, improving ease of access. So I can hook whatever I want right onto the stand. The weight of the load is evenly distributed along the middle of the beam, and it makes everything super robust. So after building hooks for the PC, the power supply, and subwoofer, I consider this project complete. Now, since this is an open-air design, you're probably wondering about dust. And theoretically, that's an issue. But practically, it's really not an issue. Everything is easily accessible, and I just use some compressed air every few months. Dust is overhyped, kind of like hiding cables. Maybe the main downside of this build is that it looks janky and can definitely use a coat of paint. So don't plan on winning any battle station awards. This entire build took me three days from start to finish, with a total material cost of about $40 Canadian. Overall, is it worth it? Absolutely. This upgrade has reclaimed a lot of my desk area, and has also made the setup well lit. It's a creative take on the typical desk setup, and I think you'll like it. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe.